Hi everyone, it's Marcus Austin, director at XVI Films. Hey guys, my name is Solomon Janu, producer at XVI Films. And I'm just going to introduce how we met and our company. So, XVI Films is a multimedia production company that aims to tell stories for underrepresented. XVI Films has been working now for two years on an up and coming film, London's Curse. Together, we've worked with the community to make a short film around knife crime and knife crime prevention. Although the associates at XVI Films may be, you know, on the younger age, we do believe that quality is over anything when it comes to our content. XVI Films consists of Brit graduates, myself, Marcus Austin, and Tyreek Jones. So we didn't come together like a normal production company. Um, unfortunately, someone that I grew up with was unfortunately stabbed and killed. And um, it was a bit hard on me, to be honest. Especially, I've never experienced something like that before. Innit? Um, the only way that I could kind of like express my emotions was from writing a script. And that's kind of how I started writing London's Curse. I started off asking myself questions as why did this happen? Why would this happen to an individual that is so beloved in the community? And ultimately, I kind of made a short film around knife crime prevention. From there, I circulated it to Cell yeah. and Tyreek, and they gave me their opinions on how achievable it is. And ultimately, they came with the maddest respect, and they felt like we could go out and do this. Yeah. Um, we literally planned the day to go shoot. We called some of our friends to come down for a shoot. Um, we picked up a camera on zero budget. We literally did everything by ourselves, and we came up with this. I love Chris Rich. I feel like it's strange because loss is something that usually breaks people apart. But I feel like loss is something that brought XVR films together. And when Marcus brought the script to me and Tyreek, we were we were taken back, we were amazed about, first of all, the potential that this film could take and we know that that's something that we're going to create. Ultimately, I feel like it's a message that the community needed to hear. I feel like we just get the normal gang-related films. I feel like I wanted to be different and tell a story that, you know, actually hits a lot of young people in the UK. I feel like picking up a knife was something that really affected my whole community and I feel like this film is a way to give back to the community. Um, I feel like um, as an actor, it was quite an emotional journey to get into our characters. I feel like for my character especially, I had to get into the mind of why a person would take another person's life. Um, and both of us as actors, I feel like we had to go through a really emotional journey where we became mature enough to really present these characters on screen for you guys to see. We did crowdfunding. Hackney Wick was really instrumental with making this film even come apart um they put on their website that they want to help us crowdfund a lot yeah. of people donated to us to make our short film and yeah. really and truly it was such an amazing experience i'm so thankful for everyone that helped us yeah. put in like one pound at least like everything was really mad for us. it was beautiful because we had a target and we went above that target uh -huh. keeping in mind we started off with nothing nothing and literally. we said okay maybe let's just raise 500 and we ended up raising like Way more. It's way more. Way more. We started with literally extras that are school friends <laughs> yeah. that wanted to act, or some people even know how to act, they just wanted to be there yeah. to see the experience. And from there, we actually got people that are in the industry that wanted to work with us, yeah. help us film this. And ultimately, it was an amazing experience altogether. And we hope with this, we can continue to make wide, amazing content. Make like amazing this. content and widen the amount of people we get to work with. So together we filmed for six days on the London's Curse shoot. Um, we filmed with a lot of young people, mm. all under like 20. Um, we all came together experiencing film literally it's different. Yeah. We had diff everyone had different experiences of it. Um, it was still super professional. We were still teaching each other, picking up on each other's mistakes and we kind of managed to create something that was quality and we're aiming to push that even further than we know with the knowledge that we've already gained from our mentors. Ultimately, London's Curse was an amazing experience and it literally allowed us to grow as filmmakers, directors, producers. Yeah. But we do feel like quality is over anything and we feel like we can go further with this film. So what we're going to do is just going to show you guys a preview of what we've shot so far with our budget. Back 
Batista, no one can beat ya. Can't wait for the next life, I'ma see ya. Long live my Brody, my homie, my Cody. Can't wait to see Kofi get well soon, bro. Long live the King Batista, no one can beat ya. Can't wait for the next life, I'ma see ya. Long live my Brody, my homie, my Cody. Can't wait to see Kofi get well soon, bro. Mid evening, my sis belling on my phone. She's like, DG Court, are you safe for your home? I'm like, yeah, I am, but why really wanna know? She's like, two of your boys just got stamina on the road. I'm like, no, nah, no, nah, you're joking, you're fibbing. And then she's like, no, nah, cause this time she ain't kidding. They just caught him in strap for that 349. It's a tragedy, they told me that Baptiste ain't living. Bro, it's impossible to believe that. But she said that it's true, I can't even go check snap. It's conversations with the G's, and instead of seeing memes, when on my phone, it's always RIP back. I knew it always stay in my heart, bro. A shitty place could knew him, has a dark hole, fucked up. But we're living in the slums, though. I'm screaming, Baps, one or two, it's heaven that we gone, Long live bro. the King Baptista. Smile so bright with the four, he's a preacher. Damn, what a diva, but bro, never stressed. The kid was a teacher, the plug, the connect. Every morning a spudder, every morning a hug. The ugliest laugh, but he always showed love. Man, the kid, he was tough, kind of. London's Cast has opened so many doors for us as filmmakers that we couldn't even imagine. Like, I got to go out and direct a TV pilot episode for a series. It's also opened up multiple client bases for us, where we've now been given a commission to create our second film about young black men's mental health with two local lads who have taken us on to help create this beautiful film. The reason that XVI Films are making this type of content is because we believe and know that we can shine a light on these unspoken truths that us as young people go through all the time, especially during lockdown. Lockdown has been a massive thing for young people in the UK and we felt like telling a story around young people's mental health is very influential in this time and something that young people can relate with. Especially in 2021 where a lot of young black people are going through a lot of hard times so this film specifically is going to be something that I feel a lot of us need. As young students we feel like we've done quite a lot already being in a school setting so we've decided to take the initiative to do a gap year where we feel like we could do much much more. In the gap here, it will consist of us doing writers' rooms that we create new concepts that we want to make, such as short films, films, series, um, a lot of more multimedia yeah. concepts. Ultimately, our company want to make content that young people and people around can relate to, and something that you know we can watch and you'd be like, yo, this has actually taught me something at the end of it. As a whole, XVI Films wants to broaden out our clientele and work mm. with a lot more people and create new content. I mean, there's a lot of new stories, new ideas that people want to go out and create, and I feel like we can facilitate with that. Yeah. In conclusion, we just want to make films. We just want to make content. We just want to create. And we're just young filmmakers that want opportunity to go out there and make something special. I mean, we've been working for two years for now, now and we've understood the industry inside and out. We've worked with a lot of high-end people. We've worked, we've been mentored by high-end people as well. I feel like this gap here is going to be an opportunity for us to spread our wings and actually go out there and create cool yeah. content. Myself, Marcus and Tariq created XVI Films for a reason and that's to make quality over nothing and we know that we can do that from this year and onwards. We've worked so hard for these past two years and we know that there's a lot more for us to give. So we hope you enjoy. Thank you guys for listening. I've been Selam Aduni. I've been Marcus Austin. Thank you for listening to XVI Films.